Hey everyone, what's up? Nick Corvestas here, and I just wanted to record this quick presentation for you guys and give you the seven strategies to success when it comes to business. Um, now, business as a whole, I've been in business, um, doing business really, really strictly and consistently for about three years now. And since then, since I've been doing it, I learned a lot of things, and I think these are the main seven strategies, the core strategies to success that you guys really need to start implementing. So let's dive right into it and comment below if you have any questions if you like this if you want more stuff like this let me know but let's dive right into it so first kind of strategy is you must solve a very specific problem in a very specific niche now this is extremely important and it's 2019 and you know the business world the agency world especially changed dramatically over the past three years now i haven't been in agency specific um business world for three full years but like the business world itself for three years of the last three years it's really not good enough to say that you generate customers for local businesses or to say something general like that you have to take it deeper if you want to thrive if your agency isn't built on this concept or your business isn't built on a concept like this it's almost a guarantee that you'll struggle while competing in a red ocean with other especially i'm gonna i'm gonna niche it toward digital marketing you're going to compete with all these digital marketing agency owners. There's a ton of them. It's a red ocean right now for sure. So be sure, guys, that you, from the beginning, from the start, pick a niche. All right. It, you don't need to dive super in depth with it. You don't need to do anything crazy. Pick a niche, something you're interested in, something you feel like you can bring in profits for. From there, figure out what their problem is. To do that, you have to ask them. Ask those owners. So second strategy. You must build an amazing offer for your services that eliminates all objections. So often, you know, when I'm talking to digital marketers, I ask them, what's your offer? And they respond with, oh, I do Facebook ads for dentists. And it, it's just ridiculous. Everyone does that. You must learn to build an offer that serves your market and eliminates their pain points and makes buying from you completely irresistible. All right. This offer needs to be specialized so you can use it in your sales process. On top of that, so you can deliver that sales process you can deliver that script over and pitch over and over and over again and you can still sell with it this is the absolute key to becoming amazing at sales not about what script you have not about what things you're saying what words you're saying what objections you can handle no it's your offer you have to build an amazing offer for your services that eliminates objections the offer is great you're not going to get any objections Strategy three is prospecting, the lifeblood of all business. And this is extremely important. Nothing in business begins without being able to prospect new business. When you're getting started, th this is all that matters. Like I'd say for the first like year or even two years, and all, honestly forever, but this is really all that matters. Now that we've been messaging in target market, now that we have our messaging and our target market dialed in, like I said, for the last two steps, we got to talk about the mindset you have, you need to have with prospecting. All right. Prospecting, having a mindset behind it of not everyone's going to say yes, but at the same time that you can help everyone. All right. You need to be, you need to make sure to tread thin on that line of where, okay, I can help everyone. Like I can help everyone. You don't want to have the mindset of, all right, I can't do this. I can't do that. Um, I can't help this person. You have to have the mindset that you can help everyone and bring results to every single person and bring profitable results to every single business and person. So, you need to have that mindset, but on top of that, you need to be aware that, hey, not everyone is going to say yes at the same time. you got to tread that line thin. So at the end of this presentation as well, when it comes to prospecting, I'm going to give you 12 prospecting strategies that currently work like crazy. I'm not going to go in depth with them. I'm just going to give you 12 prospecting strategies that work extremely well by the end of this video. Strategy four. You've got to have a seven figure sales call framework. So we've defined our messaging, we've built our offer, and now we know mainly what we're doing when it comes to prospecting, right? So now you have to actually close the deal. The framework to this, to selling, that getting a good sales call framework is really a two-step sales process. You want to be figuring out their problems, learning about the business owner, and from there, transitioning it until the closing. From there, you talk about your um, your services, maybe you'll show a presentation, maybe you won't. I, I do both. I've done both. From there, you'll close them. You'll handle objections if you need to. Usually there's not a lot if your offer is on point. And crafting an offer takes a while. It's always going to be referred back to that. But that's pretty much the sales call framework. You want to, at the very beginning, you just want to diagnose. You just want to learn as much as possible about the business owner 
and from there pivot into the close once you learned as much about the business owner as possible. It's extremely, extremely important to talk about that and to have that kind of structure, to talk about their pain points, to talk about what they want and what they don't want. It's extremely important to do that. All right, next strategy. This is the secret to growth, okay? Not a lot of people talk about this, and if they do, they're talking about it wrong. The secret to growth at the end of the day is your client's results. And on top of that, your client's customers' results, what, what, your, what your client is bringing to their customers, okay? Results are extremely important. If you can't nail down results, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. No matter how many BAs you hire, when, when you start to hire certain people and you start to bring on more people onto your team, if you're going to do that, it's extremely difficult to scale if you don't have any results. And it's extremely important. And yeah, maybe leads are results. Sure. Maybe bringing in traffic is results. Okay, great. That Those aren't the results we're talking about. Maybe those are minor results and leading up to the main thing. But the main thing is profitable results for your client. Maybe for your client, getting a thousand emails is profitable. Maybe for your client, it, it, can, it ranges and it varies. But the secret to growth is the results you bring. And this doesn't happen overnight. This happens with experience, all right? You can't expect to go in and charge $2,000 straight off the bat. I see so many videos where, or ads and whatnot, where people are like, oh, you don't need any sales skills. You don't need to know how to do this. You don't need to know how to do that. You need no past experience. And we'll teach you how to close a $1,000 thing. It, that's a lie. That You need experience. And you need to learn from the different things that you're going to be doing and pivot and optimize that for growth. And the results are a very key, important factor with when it comes to all that. It, it's really important. And without it, you're really going to fail for sure. Like, I guarantee you that. So it, it, it's extremely important to be sure that you're focusing on your client's results and your client's customer's results, what they're getting out of it. Okay, sixth strategy, second to last. Nothing I've shared here with you today matters if you don't get this right. And what this is, it's your mind. It's your mindset. That's at the base of everything. Everything starts with thoughts, and that turns into an idea, which turns into whatever the success you want it to be, right? With the mindset, you have to make an identity shift, all right? You have to believe. If you don't believe you can help a client, you they won't believe it either. And it'll show through all your sales calls. It'll show through your presentations. It'll, throw, it'll show through everything. And I'm here to tell you right now that you can do this. You can bring results to people. You can close clients. You can consult people. You can make money from it. You can, you can bring results to people. But you have to believe that you can do it. If you don't, like I said, it's going to show. It's going to show through your sales calls. It's going to show through follow-up emails. It's going to show through everything. Trust me. It's extremely important that you have to make an identity shift that you can bring results. You got to believe in yourself. Top of that, something called imposter syndrome, and everyone deals with nerves at first. And this is why most people get started, right? Most people are like, oh, um, maybe they know this. Maybe they've done this before. Other people are doing it. There's not enough. It, it's bull crap, all right? You must know that you know more about marketing or whatever you're specializing in than your prospect. You, you have to know that you know more than them, and you do. The fact is you do. What they specialize in is doing what, what they're doing. Say it's a cryo niche, they specialize in doing that. If it's a chiropractor, they specialize in doing that. But at the end of the day, you have to know what you're good at and you have to go out there and show them that you're good at that. It's extremely important. Another point on top of that all is stop wasting time. If you truly want to grow your business, stop doing dumb things, all right? You're either growing or you're dying. Learn how to focus, and this is really trained skill. You have to train to focus and sacrifice today for tomorrow's betterment, all right? You have to be able to focus and stop wasting time on the things that don't matter because it's really, really Im important, but you have to be able to focus on the right things, okay? And finally, this is really, really, really important, is there's two really main reasons, um, two, two different kinds of people, right? One person can come into contact with a piece of information and make a lot of money. Or have success. Another person can come into contact with that same information, but fail. And why is that? It's not the information. You don't need any more information. It's the person. Okay. You need to be able to focus. You need to be able to execute consistently, persistently, and to get those results, right? At the end of the day, guys, you just need to go on. Don't hold back. There's nothing more satisfying than being truly exhausted. And there's nothing more satisfying knowing that you're self-made. All right. At the end of the day, 
I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have this feeling whether you go to the gym or not, or you can relate it to something. When you before you're going to the gym, and I mean, maybe you don't want to go that that one day. You don't want to go to the gym. You end up going to the gym and you kill like a two hour workout or something. You come out of there and you feel incredible. You feel awesome. It's the same thing here. Once you put in the work, sit down and focus, you're going to feel great. All right. It's extremely important to be able to focus and have your mindset right. Seventh and final strategy is automating your client acquisition. Now, this is awesome. So I want you to ask yourself this question, whether you're starting or not. Can you confidently say that you can stop prospecting right now and still have potential clients booking calls with you on autopilot? If not, it's really a huge issue that will slow down your agency growth. But there is a reliable way to consistently get more clients. And to do this, there's a few different ways. I'm going to go through the 12 strategies as well. But at the end of the day, you can do email um, and completely automate everything. There's a lot when it comes to automation. That's just an example. I'm going to pull up. I'm looking at notes if you guys haven't noticed. But um, I am going to pull up and show you the 12 prospecting methods. And you can automate every single one of these. Okay. Um, now, with prospecting, you want to make sure that you want to believe they want, they want to believe us. All right. You want to have that mindset. Okay. These people want to believe me. And if they're rude, move on. It happens, like I said. And you got to build a system behind everything, okay? especially prospecting. So when it comes to prospecting methods that you can automate are these cold email, LinkedIn, Instagram DMs, Facebook business DMs, inbound lead ads, that's paid advertising there, custom video audits, video sales letter ads, that's once again paid things, but it's video sales letter, strategic partners, job postings, networking events, referrals and personal and organic inbound. Those are 12 methods, guys, that you guys can use right now don't need any fancy script and just go out there and just, just start doing it. Start messaging people, start talking to people, start emailing people, start asking people about their niche, start asking them about the problems they're having and then solve those problems. All right. Those 12 strategies, you can automate, I'd say at least more than half of them. Like cold email easily can automate that. LinkedIn, you can automate it. Instagram DMs, you can automate that. I'm going to do it for you. Pay them on commission. Facebook business DMs, you can automate it. Inbound lead ads, you can automate that. On top of that, Video sales letter ads, automate that. Job postings, you can you can automate a lot of this stuff, guys. The fact is, at the end of the day, you just need to sit down and you need to do it. If you're not getting results, there's a hole somewhere. You probably know where that hole is. Find it, patch it up, optimize, and grow from there. If this video helped you guys out, let me know. But at the end of the day, go out there, execute everything. If you have any questions, let me know, and keep crushing it.